It's June 20th, 2019. My name is Eric Holduzik with All Corners Home, Home Inspections. OG number is 1698. As with all the videos in this report, we, we request that you view this video as supplemental to the written version of the report to which this video has been attached. At the time of inspection, there were just a couple of reportable challenges with this manufactured home's uh, roof structure. We'll do our best to detail those challenges here. An Oregon home inspection does not include a roof warranty, meaning we make no claims as to this roof's ability to keep water out of the ceiling voids and living spaces for the areas below. There are companies which will offer such insurance policies. Oregon home inspectors are, again, specifically forbidden from offering such services. First challenge we'll identify is that we have a few roof penetrations. These are screws that were presumably attached to the roof line to hold onto a satellite dish. Uh, these, uh, these fasteners are ideally attached to the area overhanging the exterior portion of the house, the soffit and uh, gable ends, etc. Um, if nothing else, we'd recommend having these screws at this point removed and then uh, resealed or flashed and then, re and then resealed. We've identified a couple locations in particular along the uh, front area of the roof line. Maybe kind of difficult to see it here, but there's a couple of shingles which are slightly lifted off of the roof line. This is an indication that those, those two individual shingles may not be properly adhering to the courses of material directly below it. Uh, and uh, we'd recommend at least adhering those, uh, those few isolated areas which are detached. Finally, at the right-hand side of the structure, more or less above the laundry room, we've identified an area of roof structure which is low sloped. A conventional uh, or three-tab style roof such as this is never intended to be, in, or rarely intended to be installed on a, on a roof pitch lower than 412. That's a drop of four inches over 12 inches. This roof here has been identified to be 2.412. Uh, there are precautions that you can take to uh, allow for this sort of installation, and we're not able to actually determine whether or not those precautions were taken. Uh, typically, you'd install an ice and water shield or a product cut like, such as such as bichethane to prevent uh, that low pitch from impacting the uh, roof structure. We recommend evaluation and possible repair by a licensed roofing contractor for that specific area. That said, the area that has a relatively low pitch does not appear to have any sort of uh, challenges on the interior portion of the space, but uh, this roofing material in this sort of condition will have a, a greater tendency to leak and deteriorate over time. This has been Eric Holuzik with All Corners Home Inspections.